Hello everyone, I am Kasun here. Today I am going to show you how to configure NFS and Swift shares inside the Windows domain by using NetApp storage. Ok, now we are moving to task 1 to configure NFS. These are the main objectives that I am going to cover in this lab. Network file system is a protocol originally developed by Sun Microsystem. This allow Unix client to access files over a network. You can see in this diagram how folders and files stored inside NetApp storage and Unix client. You can add NFS license to your NetApp manager and also you can start the service before you creating any export. And now I will show you how to create export. In here I am going to use one of my NFS volume uh, that I already created before and also I have a Unix Qtree under that so I am going to select that. And also you can edit some permission for that export and the export will appear under the export. Oh cool, now we have export. Now you can configure your Linux client and here I'm using a Lubuntu client and make sure that it's not like Windows you don't have any of the drive letters or anything it's all folders based and the mount folder is the folder that contain all my exports with all exports so that's why I'm creating uh, this folder hierarchy under the mount folder then I know where I need to mount so I will show you from G GUI mode then you can better understand this and it's mount folder it's same like a drive letter in Windows so you just see the folders I created right now from from my terminal and now we can mount you can mount and you can give your IP address of your storage and then the path for your export and then the destination that's will be your mount directory and the folder nfs3 so it should mount it now you can make sure if you go into your mounted directory and here it's nfs3 so if you run ls minus al and you can see some folders there you can see the snapshot folder and some directories I created before for this export and here I'm going to create a hundred meg file inside that export so yeah because I'm doing this uh, I already give as uh, a space wise hundred meg files only on that volume so if I create a hundred meg file from the client side under that export and it should be full uh, and you need to make sure once we run this command and just it just duplicating some files from the root uh, and yeah it says no space left on device so oh, I better mix up uh, it's a mix up for me and it should be ls minus l and yet yeah, you can see the file too that you just created yeah if you go back to your init app manager under the volumes and I created my export under the NFS volume it's full yep that's good and also you can remove things from your export and now here I'm removing the file too that I already created before and if you go back and do refresh and it should be gone so it's zero now it's used page zero that's good right now we are moving to task 2 to configure and access shift shares and these are the main objectives I'm going to cover in this lab. You can go under license and add shift license into your NetApp manager and if you go under the protocols and you can set up but it's not same as NFS you need to do some serious setup uh, to authenticate with your Windows domain. I'll show you how to configure shift using command line interface just type shift setup and then it will follow with some questions and you can change your system name if you like but here I'll use the same name and also you can set up a file name the file name is the name that you can identify your storage inside the Windows domain it's the same like you know when we are adding something like into a Windows domain you need to give your uh, Windows domain admin password username and password same sort of rules applied here you just say I need to add this storage into this domain and use this 
time servers and things and then it will ask you to give you a domain credential to add this machine into the domain so same sort of rules applied here it's not confused just understand the logic and it's same like you can say where you need to store this machine under the um, domain so we give the organization as the computers and also you can create a separate admin password to access files on the storage so here I'll say no I don't want to use any other pass username password and then it will start the SMB service you can see here SMB protocol and the service is running and then you can go back and refresh uh, the SIF service and you can see all the information that grabbed from the domain and you can see the domain names and the LDAP servers uh, also under the organization unit you can see the K file now I'm going to show you how to create a shift share before you creating a shift share you need to have a volume up and running with a queue tree the queue tree can be NTFS support or both NTFS and Unix support but here I have a NTFS queue tree called SIF tree and then if I go click create and you can assign that queue tree under the volume as your SIF share so just click OK and you can give a name share name and comment and you can give a different name if you like and just click create and then it will be appear inside your shift share now we can use a windows client and see how we can access those shift shares from the client here i'm using windows 8.1 if you go under computer management and connect to another computer the computer name will be your storage file name and once you connect to your filer you can see all the shift shares uh, under the shares and you can see the shift tree uh, is there and also you can create new shares from here and need to follow all the steps and you can uh, browse and give a path and make a folder and you can create a new new share but here I'm not going to create any shares also we can map uh, that share into a map drive from your Windows client you just go uh, click uh, create map drive and you can give a drive later and you need to get the path correct path so you go run and use your file name and if you go under the shift shares and if you copy that path and paste uh, here then just click finish the drive will be uh, created and you can see the drive and the folders also you can set up permission for the particular shift share uh, and you can just add windows users or groups from your domain and set up a permission for a user and here I'm just selecting this test user account and uh, say that the test user can't read and I just save and close this setup and if go back and try to access and it says the permissions denied to access that shift share you can also use the shift shares to map a drive using a group policy object you need to give the correct path and then just go apply and once you go back to your client you need to update the group policy to download the latest updated policy from the policy server once it's successfully done you can just go file explorer and you can see the home drive the drive that I created from group policy will appear there are some key points that you might need to follow when you are configuring these two protocols and that's it guys I hope you enjoy my video and thanks for watching please hit like if this helpful